guys welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install VI Start or Vi Start. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it but um, yeah it's a brilliant program and I think this is only developed by like one guy last time I checked. Um, it's the best classic show I can find um, for Windows 8 or Win Windows 8.1 um, so yeah let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is obviously come to your browser um, and as you, as you can already see as well, I've already got this installed. So I'm going to show you how to install it still though. So you just uh, simply type, type vi start. Sorry, my internet's fairly slow. Um, I'm changing internet provider soon. So, uh, yeah, it'll bring you to this nice user friendly site with a big download button here. Just go ahead and uh, download it. Keep and then uh, simply open it up. This is also compatible with Windows 7. I'm not sure why you would really want it for Windows 7, um, uh, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna wait until it comes up. Is it gonna come up? <laughs> um, it might actually not be coming up just because I've installed it. So I'll tell you what, guys. I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Okay, guys. I'm gonna try that again. I've just uninstalled the Five Start. There we go. So really nice user friendly install wizard uh, just click next um, now you see a lot of these on other installation wizards this isn't like a advertisement or a um, a different program um, or a anything that's gonna ruin your uh, give you viruses in other words so go ahead and press accept uh, you could read through this but uh, I just want to point that out because I see a lot of programs that do this and it takes you for a load of advertisement that you have to keep pressing decline but this is just a user agreement on the actual program so yep accept and then uh, it's there we go so then it will bring up really nice um, again another user friendly um, box where you can choose what theme you want now uh, you can get more from their site but for now I'm just gonna, ch uh, I'm just gonna select what am I going to select actually? Uh, I could have swore there was another one here, but I don't, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to click any one you want or get more. Uh, okay. And it will load up this and it, it will bring that uh, box up every time you start your computer as well. So you know that it's loading. I'm 100% sure. No, I don't really know what it's doing right now. Um, there we go. So as you can see, my buttons just changed. Sorry about that. I, um, Twitch. Uh, Hello my there, my name is Lee. From Lee-Soft.com. Okay, so sorry about that as well. Um, and here you go. Here's Vi Start. So I'm gonna show you how to customize Vi Start. Uh, if you want to go back and customize it, you, it's easy. You go to the uh, bottom right of your um, uh, taskbar, right-click it, go to options, and then again choose what you want. So I could have swore there was a better one. Sorry, I, I need to disable the hot corners in a second. Uh, so this is the start button, right? Yeah, so um, in this instance on the uh, start button, I'm going to pick my own image because I've already got one here. There you go. So, yep, quite a nice image. And uh, for the start menu, I'm going to choose... Uh, yeah, I'm going to probably keep it to Windows 7 because uh, it's pretty most friendly. So, yeah, here you go, Windows 7. It's the same case, you can just press get more, or just more, and get some more uh, themes. Um, so yeah, uh, there are some other um, default, like there are some other uh, start ops that you can choose from, but I'm just going to keep mine. Um, so yeah, and uh, you go to configure, there's all these uh, options you can choose from, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, show program menu first, that's what I'm going to do. Um, now the desktop I'm just going to disable all Windows 8 hot corners because if you don't if you go to the bottom left of your screen too fast uh, it brings up this menu and I, I simply just don't want it so I'm going to disable that keep in mind you will have to restart your computer for any of the Windows 8 features to take effect um, automatically goes to desktop when I log in uh, now this is up to you obviously if you still want the Metro screen somehow like you want to get to it um, uh, somehow you, you can set all this up basically I've set mine so I don't get the metro screen no matter what but what you can do if you don't want the metro screen at all but you still want your apps and your store I'm just gonna close this down you can just go to the um, you can click this go to uh, 
uh, frequent programs if you set it to bring up the programs menu in, uh, straight away. Um, or you can, or you'll just get led straight here, and you can go to Show Metro or Show Metro Apps. And if you want to go to the store qu uh, quickly, you can just go Windows Store, uh, pin that to Vipad, and I think that's how it works. Oh, sorry. Uh, right, so frequent programs. Uh, okay, I didn't do that right. Um, store, Start Menu. Now is that going to work now? Frequent programs. Yeah, there we go. So then you can simply go to the Windows Store. And uh, yeah, it's uh, pr pretty pretty damn amazing. Uh, it's the only really program I get along with, uh, classic shell wise. So uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials.